Hey everybody, Jason of GhostbustersNews.com here for you today, and today I am excited because we're cracking open Playmobil's brand new Ghostbusters 2 action figure line. So yes, Playmobil is back once again making Ghostbuster figures. For those of you who missed a review last year of their first gigantic wave, it included the Firehouse, it included the Ecto-1, a whole heap of figures, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. We've got a link right down below in the description, or click the link at the end of this video. I can't express how much I love those sets, and I got a feeling today is, is not going to be any different. Yes, Playmobil Ghostbuster figures based around Ghostbusters 2. We got the dark suits. I'm sure we're going to have probably a slime blower or two, some pink slime. I can't wait to unbox these. But before I do, I need to touch on a few little things. First and foremost, the sets this time around are much smaller. Each set contains a Ghostbuster, Dr. Peter Venkman, Dr. Egon Spangler, Dr. Raymond Stance, or of course, Winston Zedmore. Each figure comes with their own ghost-busting gadgets, including a ghost trap that is going to unlock an awesome Playmogram feature. You guys are going to need to stick around and see it to believe it because we're going to show you that feature later in the video. So let's start off the unboxing with my favorite figure in the entire line so far. It is Slime Blower Winston Zedmore. Now one of the first things you're going to notice about this new wave of figures is that each character is in their Ghostbuster 2 dark gray flight suits. As well, hardcore Ghostbuster fans are definitely going to note things like the lifeguard being added to their uniform as well. And of course, on his arm, we get the Ghostbusters 2 logo as well. And I guess I should kind of touch on the facial detail of these characters, but they're Playmobil. I mean, none of them are going to look like their actor counterparts. I mean, this doesn't really look like Ernie Hudson whatsoever. Once again, it's Playmobil. Cut it some slack. Now, one area, though, where Playmobil, like, went above and beyond is the uh, is the slime blower on his back. Considering this is once again Playmobil, I am absolutely blown away by the detail here. On the back of here, of course, we've got caution striping, we've got valves, we've got uh, meters, and of course, this connects to the actual slime blower portion. That you can actually attach this little add-on that looks like slimes just oozing right out of the nozzle. Now, two things that are universal for each and every character in this uh, series here is each one does come with their very own PKE meter, so no, Egon's not the only one that has one. And new to this series, each character comes with a pair of snap-on gloves. Because handling pink slime is a messy job. Oh, and did I mention that some of the characters do come with little pieces of pink slime? Yeah, for those keeping score at home right now, uh, both Winston and Egon do come with these little gelatinous pink pieces of slime. And much like the, the first line of figures, you can put this slime on the characters, you can put it on top of like the Ecto-1, all throughout the firehouse, wherever you want to put it. Now all four figures are pretty similar, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's different with each one. Let's talk about Egon. He's back with a proton pack. Now not too much has changed here in terms of facial appearance when compared to what he looked like uh, in the first line of figures. Once again, all these figures are in the dark gray uniforms as seen in Ghostbusters 2. But the big change with Egon here is he's covered in pink mood slime. Which I kind of find weird. Uh, Egon doesn't really hardly ever get slimed in the film, aside from when he jumps into the, like, the sewer area. Um, so it's kind of weird they picked him to be the one to be doused in this. If anybody, I would think either Winston, since he falls into it first in the sewer, or even Ray, considering he's just doused with tons of it by the end of the film. Now one thing that has changed with all the characters that do wear proton packs in this line, uh, the first time around they had black straps, now they have beige straps. Now the straps becoming beige, it's not film accurate, but it's a little bit closer than what they were black. Um, and it looks really good on, once again, these, uh, these gray uniforms here. Once again, if you're going for screen accuracy, Playmobil is probably not your line. Um, but if you're going for fun action figures, I mean, have at it. Speaking of the Proton Pack, for those who didn't check out my first video where I reviewed the entire first line, um, this is what it looks like. Looks good considering, once again, it is Playmobil. Of course, the pack attaches to the wand, and you do have the optional choice of attaching a Proton Stream. And of course, if the proton stream isn't your bag, you can always detach it and, uh, and mount your wand to the back of the proton pack. After that, we've got Dr. Peter Venkman, who is kind of lackluster. There's not really too much to talk about here, considering we've already hit so many notes on Winston and Egon. Now, everything that Venkman does come with is identical to what we saw with Dr. Egon Spangler, minus the pink piece of slime. For whatever reason, he doesn't come with this. 
I mean, he's a good looking figure. It's just, he kind of got the shaft in the end when compared to the other three. Speaking of the other three, let's move on to Dr. Ray Stance, the heart of the Ghostbusters. Now, on first glance, what's weird about Ray is he does not come with a slime blower, but instead a proton pack. Which is really weird because whenever there's ever action figures of like slime blower Winston, Ray is always the character that has the other slime blower. So it's a little strange that, yeah, he's got a proton pack, not a slime blower here. But he does come with some pretty cool accessories. Uh, first and foremost, of course, on the top of his head, you're going to see some ecto goggles. Now, these are identical to what we saw in the first line of figures, but the interesting kind of addition piece here is this little meter that he's holding in his hand. The meter actually hooks up to the back of the ecto goggles and gives him almost like a little, uh, I guess, in hand kind of quasi ecto goggle slash PKA meter thing that he's holding and he can actually walk around and, and look at. I mean, I've never seen this being used. Obviously it was never used in the movies and I don't think there's ever been anything like this in the cartoon series. This is totally unique to the Playmobil line. And I would think all those meters or that little meter that's that's on that would just be visible when he actually lowers his ecto goggles. But um, I mean, it looks cool. Still though, I think I would have preferred a slime blower with Ray. Now, instead of those little pink pieces of slime, Ray actually does come with little slime test tubes. Now, for those of you out there who bought the Ghostbusters Firehouse Playmobil set, this is nothing new. It's just a recolored uh, version of what was included with that Firehouse set. Still though, anything that reminds me of uh, pink slime from Ghostbusters 2, I love. I love it. Now, as I mentioned before, each figure does come with their very own ghost trap. And this is one of the coolest new accessories to this line of Playmobil figures. See, what you do is you open up the ghost trap and each figure comes with one of these little triangular kind of uh, glass pieces here. Well, it's plastic, I should say. Little triangular plastic piece. And it attaches right into the hole inside the trap. From there, you're going to take your smartphone and you're going to download this just fancy Playmobil app, uh, which is called Playmogram 3D. From there, you're going to choose Ghostbusters on the app. And then you can actually load in which ghost you want your Ghostbuster to bust. So, of course, I'm a Slimer man, so I'm going to click Slimer here. And after that, you put the Ghost Trap directly on top of your phone. And then you can either cover your Ghost Trap with this included piece of box board, or just turn off all the lights and hit the trap pedal and see what happens. <laughs> Now what's also cool about this is all four ghosts are available to actually capture right from the get-go. So it's not like you need some type of proof of purchase to unlock Slimer or one of the other three ghosts. If you've got one trap and the app, you can bust all four, as you can see right here. God, that feature is so cool. Um, these figures are right now hitting toy store shelves, so be on the lookout. Uh, and price-wise, they're not bad at all, coming in just shy of about $10 usually. And for those of you out there that like the Playmobil Ghostbusters line, uh, of course, there are going to be real Ghostbuster themed figures coming out later this year. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited. Be sure to keep it locked here to Ghostbusters News on YouTube. Subscribe and check out that video of that impending review when it comes out. And that's all I got for you here today. I'll see you right back here next time on Ghostbusters News. And or is reaching out of a store zone to minute to rise zone zone with fits boy though just gotta call the up and so cool Grab your tools it's time to fight Zool This proton charge you go run you extra up the storage of the beast from your branch your checkbook You might want a warranty in case it happens down the line Everybody's going down in time remember you